Hello everybody, today I finally received my World War II Japanese helmet. It did say Civic Defense Helmet, but I am unsure of if it is a Civic Defense Helmet or not. I'm going to lean more towards it is a Civic Defense Helmet, as it lacks some of the features the um, combat helmets do, if you ever watch any videos on those. So, just a friendly reminder that this one might be a Civic Defense type helmet, but for the price I paid, I am just going to be happy if it's a World War II Japanese helmet. The price I paid was not really bad, was not any, anywhere close to being bad for it. I'd say it was pretty good for one of these helmets, and, which is why I'm expecting it to be a civil defense helmet, not a combat helmet. I do want to get a combat helmet, but I just needed one for the, a display I'm going to set up. Uh, I'm also getting a Japanese World War II gas mask to go with this helmet on display. But, nonetheless, let's uh, just get a good look at it. It does have all of these split pin rivets, one right there, the one in the back. And this one on the side, along with the star. Now, this uh, helmet does have a few dents in it, being a few up top. It's got a few. I mean, it's got a major one right there, but the one where it really has a bad one is in the back of it right there. The color of this helmet appears more brighter on camera, but it is a lot darker. It is the actual color it's supposed to be in person. So the liner looks like something you would issue out to a civilian because it is not the three-pad leather system like the other ones are. Although, then again, I have seen plenty of World War II Japanese helmets that have the shell style of the combat helmet have a liner quite like this. It is tied, but I've seen the way these are supposed to look. And this isn't um, the three-pattern system, so this might have been done during the war or after it. Along with that, this um, was added on there when I got it. This is how I uh, got it, you know. But it's got a lot of rust uh, towards the top of it and around the edges in some spots. It does have numbers right here on the back skirt being 58704, which is might be the lot, might be the lot number of this helmet. The only D-rings that have been replaced are right there. So, but, you know, anyway, we'll flip the helmet back over and talk a little bit more about it. Now, for what I paid for this helmet, it is not a bad helmet nonetheless. It is pretty good for what I paid for it, and it's um, a little bit more than what I was expecting. It was a bid, and um, they had a buy it now price. <coughs> Excuse me. But the buy it now price was not really that bad in my eyes, so, you know, I went ahead and bought it. But we'll get one more look at the helmet before um, the video ends, and, you know, we go about our merry days. I don't know if you all have any, um, anything to let me know in the comments about this helmet, about what you think it was used for, like, where you think it was issued out to. If you think it's an actual combat helmet, I'm just an idiot. But, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying what it is based on the listing of it, which is why I think it was a little bit cheaper than normal helmets. Now, I know normal Japanese helmets will range from probably $500 all the way up to $800, which is why for what I paid for this one... I'm not too worried about it being a combat helmet, nonetheless, but I do think it is a Japanese-styled helmet, if anything. But I think it is a civil defense, World War II Japanese helmet. I will see you in the next one. Bye.